the NBA on 2K Sports, presenting an exciting Monday night game. This is Brian Anderson. I'm here with Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, our reporter, Allie LaForce. So a moment now to see the story for Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And his foul shooting has looked a little weaker over the last five games compared to where he was the rest of the season. I know how frustrating that can be, and I'm sure he's eager to turn it around. And the Oklahoma City starting five. And at forward, it's Jordan Williams. Josh Giddy out there with Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And it's Holmgren in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Pelicans, Ingram and Zion, your small and power forwards. The backcourt, McCullum and Jones. And it's Valanchunas in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And down the stretch of a long regular season here, Grant, this is where teams training staffs earn their keep. Absolutely. I mean, teams are so much more advanced than they were when I came into the league. The science, the technology, of course, the, the medical care, all of it being applied at the highest of levels. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. This guy is so elusive with the ball in his hands. SGA just understands how to get off the dribble drive. Ingram against Dort. Ingram, the pass to Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Outside, Williams. Over Williamson. And Williams gets the bucket on the assist from Giddy. Well, you have got to be impressed with Josh Giddy's awareness of where his teammates are at all times. Williamson with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Here's McCullum. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That was good. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Now here's Holmgren. A really disappointing game for him in that loss to Milwaukee. That's just concentration from Shea Gilgis Alexander. This guy's accustomed to big time defense. Here's Ingram. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Pass to Williamson. McCullum outside. From outside the arc. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. With confidence and ability from long range, I love it. McCullum's able to space the floor and keep the defense honest. Now here's Kitty. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at five. Up and over McCollum. And it's Oklahoma City scoring again. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. Pass to Valanchunas. To the middle. Here's Ingram. Williams grabs the board. The Thunder have gone 4-4 four four from the floor. Perfect start. And Grant, when you scan the OKC roster, you see length at every position. Yeah, it's definitely their philosophy, B.A. We're seeing a number of franchises going that route. What I would say about the Thunder, though, many of their guys still have some strength to add. Gilgis Alexander, no good. The Pelicans have gone 3-4. of four. Off to a nice start. Williamson passes to McCollum. Well, New Orleans hasn't made the playoffs in consecutive years since 2008-2009. You know, B.A., that was back in the Chris Paul era. They only reached the postseason twice with Anthony Davis. But in recent years, injuries have prevented them from reaching their potential. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for McCollum. A late bloomer. CJ McCollum's career has been fun to watch unfold. And I'm sure inspired lots of hoopers out there. Oh. 
Both shots good from the strike. Hey, you look at some of the young star power on OKC. Grant, they haven't had that since the Kevin Durant years. Oh, B.A., I mean, those KD teams were built through the draft. So no matter where they're picking, the Thunder seem to uncover gems. Pass to Holmgren. And that See, comes Holmgren. off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Assisted. Yeah, it's just Gilgis too easy Alexander. for Holmgren. Man, is he fun to watch operate off the catch? Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. Three-pointer off the mark. And Kitty has got the ball here for the Thunder. Defeated by Milwaukee in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. It's simple. Your defense has to be razor sharp on the road. You really want to take the crowd out of the game. Easier said than done. I'll tell you this. It looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible. The problem is their defense went with them. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim. But that is a beautiful contest right there. To the paint. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Oh, my goodness. How about the impressive vertical by Lou Dort? No doubt on that slam. Ingram against Dort. And the bucket is good. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Thunder with a lead. Pass to Williams. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Oh, he missed the chippy right there. New Orleans has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Williamson with a screen on Dort. Here's Ingram. And it's Giddy with a rebound. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. McCullum against Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with a screen on McCullum. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Doris, how about the production we've been seeing from Shea Gilgis Alexander? B.A., he has taken that step from star to superstar. Simply stated, I think he's got the potential to make multiple All-NBA teams. The ability offensively to attack at three levels and to be equally good on the defensive end of the floor, this guy is something special. Free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. Boy, the more you watch Shea Gilgis Alexander play, the more he shows you the aspects of his game just getting better and better and better. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Pass to Valanchunas. Valanchunas with a screen on Dort. Yep, that one goes. Boy, that play developed just the way they wanted it. Valanchunas made sure they got the bucket. What a tremendous pass. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. And you know, when you have the size and skill of a guy like Chet Holmgren, you're going to draw fouls. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Thunder? They've been really going at the defense in the painted area. And so far, the opposition really hasn't had an answer for them. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. And the Pelicans making a change here. Both free throws good from Holmgren. To have a big who's great at the line, such a plus. The Pelicans have gone five of nine from the floor. Williamson finds Ingram. Nance with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Well, just terrific balance from Larry Nance Jr. This guy can accept the punishment on the way to the cup. First personal foul. 
Second team foul. At the line for your Pelicans, Larry Nance Jr. One shot. And the free throw, no good. What you respect about Larry Nance Jr. is his work ethic. This guy wants to keep getting better. He adds more and more elements to his game. He is such a fun player to watch. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Look out below. <laughs> you got no chance of defending him right there. Williamson passes to Ingram. Knocked away. the inside here's Hawkins giddy with a defensive effort you will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert in traffic Gilgis Alexander feeling it out a bit pass to Williams back to Gilgis Alexander and the three off target just enough of a shot contest to bother Ingram against Dort. It's Dort on the wing. Now here's Giddy. Defense is right there. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Well, that's about confidence and composure on the interior. Josh Giddy does stand 6'8. Makes that a little easier. That's the screen. McCullum, a pass to Nance. A shot that time, not on target. Good work defensively by Gilgis Alexander. Outside, Williams. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. McCullum defends. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. And you know, as a roller, Holmgren shows great hands, and he makes nice adjustments moving downhill. New Orleans calls timeout. You know, for my money, Josh Giddy is one of the most entertaining players in the league, Grant. Yeah, he has superb vision in the open floor, B.A. Reads the angles and sees how plays develop with ease. His teammates have to be ready for a pass from Giddy at all times. Alvarado's checked in for New Orleans. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Gordon Hayward. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. Pass to Ingram. Over Dort. And again, New Orleans, no good. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Now, here's Williams. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against the Bucks in Milwaukee. Here's Wallace. Puts up a three. He buries it from three. And it's a 10-point Thunder lead. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Williams against Williamson. To stop the drought. And it's good on the layup. So strong inside. Zion fighting through it all. And Giddy has got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. down the first one. Well, Josh Giddy has proven that he will have some triple doubles in his career because he can score it, he can board it, and he can certainly find his teammates. Now it's about being consistent and efficient. Williams has checked in for Oklahoma City. Hayward comes in for Dort. Both free throws good from Giddy. 
And until recently, it seemed like a foregone conclusion that the NBA's age limit would come back down to 18. Are you surprised that didn't happen, Grant? You know, B.A., I am surprised. We heard players saying it's not fair to make guys wait. You know, Commissioner Silver seemed receptive, so that was slightly unexpected that age 19 remains the rule. Oh, and the big finish by Williamson! And that's what we've come to expect from Zion. Exactly. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. Eight-point game. Pass to Williams. Here's Wallace. Alvarado defending. Outside Giddy. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Team foul. At the line for the Thunder. Jazz Giddy. Shooting one. Giddy, no good on the free throw. For New Orleans, they've got 8 of 15 shots to go. Here's Hawkins, guarded by Hayward. That's the screen. Here's Hawkins. Off target with the three. Oklahoma City's gone one or two from three-point land so far. Wallace, the pass to Williams. Hayward, outside. Back to Williams. The three-pointer off the mark. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Hawkins, the pass to Ingram. McCullum outside. Two minutes remaining in the first. That's the screen. From 11 feet away, again, the Pelicans good for two. Yeah, the craftiness of McCullum. Smooth in that mid-range area. Here's Giddy. He's coming off a 19-point game against Milwaukee. And another key for them was his rebound. Just a great effort. Now here's Giddy. Eight-point game. Yep, count it. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Pass to Hawkins. A minute 20 left in the first. Shot is good by Nance. Larry Nance Jr. in a catch-and-shoot situation. That's not easy to guard. Outside Giddy. Nance pulls down the board. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Nance with a screen on Giddy. Hawkins. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now here's Giddy. Give him eight points now. And yep, it's good. Giddy's got ten points in the game. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Pass to Ingram. For three, McCullum. And another three for New Orleans. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Now Kitty. Ten points for him. From downtown, count it from distance. 13 points in the game. And so it's Josh Giddy making highlights for the Oaks fingerprints were all over that quarter. 13 points leading the charge. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere.
for those of you just tuning in. Second quarter action is where we are. And what do you guys think about the Thunder here in this one? It's all about the strong inside-out game in the first period. It really helped them get some clean looks down low. It is great when you can get that established early because to me it opens up every other aspect of your game. Here's McCullum. A 23-point game for him in the win against Detroit. And let's not forget about the assist. This guy as a playmaker was a driving force for that offense. They've got Najee Marshall. He's out there with Cody Zeller. C.J. McCollum is out there with Trey Murphy. And it's Hawkins in at the two-guard position. That's the Pelicans five. And the NBA doing what they could to get rid of the take foul recently. Grant, it seems like a success. Absolutely. It's been a huge success. Fast breaks feel fast again. And penalizing take fouls has made the game much, much better. Thunder with a lead. And here's Giddy. Pass to Williams. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. McCullum defends. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. Gilgis Alexander no good. And here's McCullum. He'll bring it up for the Pelicans. They defeated Detroit in their last game. And that one, the other team could not keep up with them offensively. <laughs> they were prolific. Well, let's give some credit to the coaching staff as well. Recognizing the weaknesses in that defense and going after each one of them. And so it's Oklahoma City with it, following the score by New Orleans. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Pass to Zeller. Here's Hawkins. Let's the three fly. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Outside, Williams. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Giddy with it. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at six. Williams a screen on McCullum. Here's Gilgis Alexander. SGA using that size. Well, uh, pick and roll play from Shea Gilgis Alexander really starting to come along. Screen by Zeller. Here's McCullum. Second shot opportunity. The shot won't fall. For Oklahoma City, they've got two of three shots to go in the second. Now here's Giddy. Not a lot of room. It's Giddy on the wing. The three. That's in. Coming off an assist from Hayward. And it's a five-point Thunder lead. Boy, if this becomes a consistent part of Josh Giddy's game, look out because that three-point shot is going to make him so dangerous. Here's Hawkins. Giddy defends. Got a piece of it, and that's out of bounds. Last touch by Giddy. And looking at the second half of this season, here are the guys who have owned the offensive end. These are the top scores in the game since the All-Star break. The fourth spot held by Shea Gilgis-Alexander. You have to appreciate scores who turn it on down the stretch. He's given them points in crucial games. Jones, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. And he makes it. It's somehow, someway, McCullum always seems to carve out just enough space for his shot. Jones against Hayward. Rebounded by New Orleans. They faced off right here last time they met, but the home club just couldn't pull out the win. 
This time around, they're looking for better execution offensively. They have to avoid mistakes. Well, so many of their problems stem from turnovers. They simply could not take care of the ball, and it cost them in that matchup. A late second-round pick in 2021, but Aaron Wiggins has earned his way into NBA minutes. And not a big name in college at Maryland, but he just continued developing, and everyone, of course, runs their own race. He's here now, and he is capitalized. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey, Brian, the Thunder are making dramatic improvement. Shea Gilgis Alexander, now an All-Star, says they're gaining confidence. He said, quote, we know we're getting better. I think guys are kind of getting addicted to that feeling and continuing to grow. Brian, they could be building something really special here. Yeah, you're right. They could. Skipping no steps either. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Wiggins. Yet to see a basket. Good work there as it goes. And the Thunder lead by four. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Here's Hawkins. He's got nine. Pass to Marshall. Three-pointer. The rebound by Wiggins. The Thunder have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Wallace, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Tries it from 16. The kick out to Wiggins. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists in the game. McCullough looking it over. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. And the Pelicans making a change here. Ingram's checked in. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. 14 points for him. Outside Ingram. Back to McCollum, over Gilgis Alexander, and there's McCollum on the assist by Ingram. Ingram's got his third assist of the night, and Giddy has got the ball here for the Thunder. They've led by as much as 10. Here's Gilgis Alexander, soft touch off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got six points in the quarter. There's so many ways Shea Gilgis Alexander can create for this offense. He's becoming one of the top scorers in the game. Here's Ingram, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That one on Hayward. Personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Jordan, Brandon Ingram. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, good from Ingram. A natural score. Every single year, Ingram seems to take another leap in his game. And the Pelicans making a change here. Williamson's checked in. Williams is checked in for Oklahoma City. Dort comes in for Hayward. Good on both. Giddy with it. He's got 16. Pass to Holmgren. Now here's Dort. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Down low. Here's Holmgren. And the big finish by Holmgren. Well, Holmgren understands how to play in pick and roll. Set the screen. Roll hard. Make sure your teammate delivers. McCullum on the wing. Gilgis Alexander defending. Williamson passes to Ingram. Back to Williamson. And he lobs it up. And stolen by Holmgren. And a fast break now for the Thunder. Williams' shot is good. And now it's a nine-point Thunder lead. <laughs> Woo! His energy is unmatched. The finish and transition, nice and easy. McCullough with the screen on Giddy. Jones from outside. And again, no good by New Orleans. Oklahoma City has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. Gilgis Alexander no good. 
The Pelicans have gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. Williamson outside. Pass to Ingram. Dort against McCullum. Just four to shoot. Over Dort. Got a hand on it. But Lou Dort has more than earned his reputation as a defensive stopper. Twice on the pipes. Giddy passes to Holmgren. And here's Gilgis Alexander. McCullum defends. Count it. Gilgis Alexander's got eight here in this quarter. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. And the Pelicans call time here. Checked in for Marshall and Alvarado's subbed in for CJ McCullum. Here's Jones. Still no points. Zeller, pass to Jones. Williamson with it. Dort defending. Alvarado outside. From deep. Hits the trifecta. Unselfish play there by Zion. Moving the ball to another shooter. Oklahoma City has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. Alvarado defending. Screen by Holmgren. Williams passes to Holmgren. And the big finish by Holmgren. And before he even leaves the floor, Holmgren has the ball at rim level. Ingram against Dort. Free throw line jumper. The shot by Ingram, no good. Oklahoma City has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Williams with the screen. Here's Giddy. The Pelicans pull it in. Ingram with the ball. Now Gilgis Alexander defending. Ingram, the pass to Williamson. Over Dort. Out of bounds. Wow. The Oklahoma City's ball. ball. Now let's take a minute to see the top free throw shooters in the rookie class. Second, Chad Holmgren. This is a rookie who is not easily rattled. Very strong at the line over the last month. 22. The Thunder making a switch here. Wallace. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Giddy passes to Holmgren. The kick out to Williams. Knocks it down from distance. Williams has got seven. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. And so it's Ingram with it. He brings it up for New Orleans. Trailing by 13. to Zeller and here is Williamson six to shoot back to Zeller launches a three it doesn't go for him well he tries to enter with a three of his own and can't do it you can't get caught up in the one-on-one -on -one aspect Holbert with a screen on Jones so it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And what you immediately notice about Chet Holmgren is his uniqueness. He's got size, but also tremendous agility. He can hit outside shots or battle down low.
The first free throw is good. I think for a guy like Chet Holmgren, it's about staying healthy. He has the size and skill and the mentality to be successful. Jonas Valanciunas has checked in for the Pelicans. C.J. McCollum comes in for Alvarado. And he can't hit the second. For New Orleans, they've gotten 7 of 16 shots to go in the second. Here's McCollum. He's closely guarded. Count that bucket. McCollum's got 21 points in the game. Ready to cash in. I like when McCollum looks to mix it up like this. Giddy with a screen on McCollum. Wallace, the pass to Holmgren. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. Now here's Williamson. Outside Jones. From downtown. And it's Giddy with a rebound. Giddy's got four rebounds in the game. Outside, Williams. Misses the three. New Orleans has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Williamson against Williams. Now Ingram. He's got six. McCullum on the wing. Falls back and drains a fadeaway J. McCullum's got 11 points in the quarter. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. Ingram against Dort. Inside. Here's Holmgren. Ooh, coming through again. Holmgren. Shooting five for seven now. There's 39 seconds left in the first half. Pass to Valanciunas. To the paint. Here's Ingram. And it's Giddy with a rebound. Giddy's got five rebounds tonight. Well, that's just inconsistency from him. And it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. Williams against Williamson. Here's Wallace. Clock at six. Williams a screen on Ingram. Tries it from 16. Yep, Wallace. that one goes. Wallace has got seven points in the game. Yeah, just late help on the defensive side. I mean, just another breakdown for them. And I'll tell you, you look up at the scoreboard, that's correct. They have a big lead for a reason. And so it's Oklahoma City up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. We'll be back in a moment. And hello everybody, what an amazing first half performance it's been for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Man, I would have loved to play on this team. They share the ball, that movement that creates openings for other guys and converting them into very high percentage shots. Yeah, I just glanced at the numbers. They have more assists in one half than some teams have in a whole game. And switching things up just a bit, let's look ahead at the upcoming schedule. And looking at the Rockets matchup, they have a big advantage coming in. They're clearly better when you match up the rosters. But this is why we play the game. Listen, it's obvious. Obvious is boring. I'm picking the upset. And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining us. We send you back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. Scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Well, you know, C.J. McCollum has been really making an impact here, guys. I love how effortlessly he scored. The game just comes so easy for him. Now, let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. 
just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Taking a look at the Thunder. Inside, we got Williams and Holmgren. Shea Gilgis Alexander is out there with Josh Giddy, and it's Dort in at the three, the small forward. Outside for Ingram. Here's the three. Ingram can't get that one to fall. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. An interesting note on Jalen Williams. He was the first Santa Clara player drafted in 26 years. B.A., we know who that player you're talking about is. Obviously, Steve Nash was selected out of Santa Clara back in 1996. That one worked out pretty well. I think Jalen Williams will be special as well. Williamson outside. Pass to McCullum. Takes a three. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. Williamson's got three assists in the game. Jones against Kitty. From deep, Gilgis Alexander nails it from beyond the arc. For three. Gilgis Alexander's got 21 points in the game. Williamson finds Ingram. Now McCullum. Valanchunas with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. McCullum pass to Valanchunas. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Well, to me, that's the force that Valanchunas plays with. It allows him to shake the foul Second off, maintain foul. his poise, and score. First team foul. At the line for one, Jonas Valanchunas. of a traditional center. Jonas Valanciunas can dominate the glass and capable of a double-double on any given night. Now here's Kitty. He's got 16 to the middle. Here's Williams. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Williams has got 11. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Pass to Valanciunas. To the inside, McCollum, and it's good. Two points. McCollum's got five points in the quarter. He's done everything he can tonight, trying to keep this team competitive. Giddy against Jones. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Outside Giddy. From deep three-point land. Alan Chunas with a rebound. Only their first miss in four attempts. It's been a great start to the half. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. Left side Jones. All sorts of time. Gilgis Alexander with a rebound. And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for OKC. At one point, they led by 16. Up top, Holmgren. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Drops in the three. Gilgis Alexander's got 24 points. 80% shooting to start the third, four for five. Outside Ingram. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Give him eight. Good timing on the shot from Ingram. Understanding the situation and beating the defense just in time. Kitty finds Gilgis Alexander. Here's Holmgren. The Pelicans pull it in. McCollum's got rebound number five here tonight. Giddy against Jones. Alan Chunas with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And McCollum isn't afraid of contact, especially when he's being aggressive and looking to score. CJ McCollum! Two shots!
First free throw is good. And McCullum drops them both. And here are the Thunder now. Leading by 12. Holmgren with a screen on McCullum. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. At the line for one. Free throw good from Holmgren. And so it's New Orleans with it. 15-point game. McCullum against Gilgis Alexander. Alan Chunas with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. And McCullum slams it in. They're defending the pick and roll. He has to stop the ball, especially when it's C.J. McCullum controlling it. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Thunder. Yeah, they were so aggressive from the start, getting the ball into the painted area. Now, they stuck to their game plan, and it paid off. I think another thing that's striking here tonight, the ball movement is incredible. Again and again, they're making smart passes to ready shooters. The Pelicans have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. New Orleans calls timeout. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? Western Conference standings as the race to the playoffs continues. We look at Oklahoma City with the playoffs fast approaching. They are well positioned at second place in the conference. And of course, New Orleans down a few spots. Seeing where the Pelicans are, you have to acknowledge that they've really hung tough this season, avoiding a lot of the bumps in the road that other contenders have gone through. A resiliency has been crucial for this team. Anytime it looks like they may start to drag a little bit, they've picked it back up and stayed in the hunt. Ingram against Dort. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Nance with a screen on Dort. Down low. Outside for Ingram. Fires from deep. And another three for New Orleans. It always helps to have a big who is willing to find open teammates. Larry Nance proving how unselfish he can be. McCullum against Gilgis Alexander. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got eight points here in the quarter. And here's McCollum. 32 points in the game for him. Nance with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. McCollum outside. Pass to Nance. Holmgren with the block. And you can't forget about Holmgren's reach, especially when he's nearby on defense. Kitty finds Gilgis Alexander. And here's Holmgren. Can't connect from short range. And so McCullum will bring it up for New Orleans. Down by 15. 
Jones against Dort. Jones, the pass to McCollum. And there's a whistle. That'll belong to Shea Gildas Alexander. Second. That'll be a second foul of the game. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Gordon Hayward, he's checked in for Dort. Gordon Hayward. Here's Williamson. And you look at the numbers, currently around 22 and a half points a game. Five to shoot. And his fifth make of the game in 12 attempts. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. Outside Giddy. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Ingram against Hayward. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Up and over McCollum. And Gilgis Alexander missing. For New Orleans, they've gone 7 of 10 here in the second half. Pass to McCollum from the arc. Gilgis Alexander with a rebound. Gilgis Alexander's got four rebounds in the game. Hayward. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got assist number eight here already in the game. Cullum with it. You know, his stats have been solid, averaging around 18 and a half points a game. Time called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Put your hands together. And looking at the stats since the All Star break, here are the teams who have done a remarkable job rebounding the ball. The fourth spot held by the Pelicans. Incredible rebounding numbers since the break. They've put in a lot of effort on the glass. Here's Hawkins. Nine points in the game. McCullum on the wing. Who poked away. Ooh, it's stolen by Gilgis Alexander. To the inside. That's good from Giddy. On the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Zion Williamson is doing his homework. He said, quote, I watched a lot of old school players and I tried to figure out their mindsets. And all of their mindsets were the same. People remember winners. So whenever the time comes for me to be done with the game of basketball, I want them to say he was a winner. Guys, he's on his way. So true. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. 26 points for him. Well, pretty pass from Shea Gilgis Alexander. This guy can score it, but make sure you're lifting up the guys around you. Pass to Nance. McCullum against Gilgis Alexander. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Williams. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. The line for New Orleans, CJ McCullough. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. They're doing some good work at the line this half. The Thunder making a switch here. Williams is checked in. So one for two that time at the stripe. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Right side, Gilgis Alexander. 17-foot shot on the way. 
Hayward's shot is off. And so McCollum will bring it up for New Orleans. 15-point game. After signing a huge deal with Boston in 2017, Gordon Hayward had that terrible leg injury. It's amazing, VA, how quickly the trajectory of a career can change. It took Gordon Hayward a full year of rehabilitation after what was a gruesome injury. But I admire the work and commitment it took to get back, and now he is rebuilding and contributing to winning again. Here's Giddy. After the Pelicans picking up a basket a moment ago, four on the clock. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Thunder, Williams. Two shots. Makes a first. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Here's Hawkins. Giddy defends. Right side Ingram. Let's the three fly. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Right side, Williams. Over Williamson. And Williams gets the bucket on the assist by Hayward. Williams has got six in the quarter. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Nance with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. And Nance with the slam! Well, you've got to be decisive in your movements in the pick and roll, and Mr. Nance Jr. does exactly that. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Uses the glass on the layup. Gilgis Alexander's got 10 points in just the second half. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Here's McCollum. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Williams a screen on McCollum. Back to Williams. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him tonight. Here's Hawkins. He's got nine. Ingram finds Nance. That one goes in. Nance has got nine. Well, we know that Larry Nance is a vertical spacer. This guy can score it on the interior. Good touch right there. Outside Giddy. Williams with the screen to the paint. Williamson against Williams. Shoots. And again, it's Oklahoma City. Here's Ingram. He's got 18. There's 53 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Off target from outside. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Left side, Kitty. And it's Hawkins with a rebound. New Orleans has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Pass to Nance. McCullum outside. Drills it from deep. McCollum's got 36 points. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. Gilgis Alexander up top. And he's got 28 now. Hayward, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Williams. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. The Thunder making a switch here. Shooting for Oklahoma City, Williams. 
One shot. One shot. That one misses. Here's Hawkins. Inside. Here's McCullum. What a performance for Shea Gilgis Alexander. He has been the story for Oklahoma City. He put together 10 points in the quarter. All right, to this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm Assist of the game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. You love the unselfishness, finding the best look, and it doesn't matter who's taking it. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Jones is the two with Ingram at small forward. Trey Murphy out there with Najee Marshall. And it's McCullum at the point guard position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. And the basket is good. Gilgis Alexander's got 30. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. Pass to McCullum. Banked it in off the glass. McCollum's got 15 points in just the second half. He's shooting the lights out down the stretch, trying to keep them competitive. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. This guy is such an explosive athlete. Shea Gilgis Alexander goes straight to the cup. Jones, the pass to Ingram. Here's Marshall. McCollum outside. Outside Jones, just five to shoot. Oh, it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. That's aggressive defense. Shea always competing on that end of the floor. Williams passes to Williams. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The Pelicans pull it in. And in deciding against lowering the minimum age for the NBA draft, Grant, you think it's fair to 17 and 18 year olds who want to go pro? You know, B.A., I do think it's fair. I mean, there are other avenues in today's basketball environment where compensation for these guys is possible. You have the overseas route, you have the G League Ignite, and of course now colleges have the NIL, so that's huge. So both teams changing it up here. First team foul. At the line for New Orleans, Brandon Ingram. One shot. Oklahoma City has gotten seven of 12 three point attempts to fall. Now here's Gilgis Alexander, tightly guarded. And he was he fouled in the foul. act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Second. They have foul. no answer defensively inside. Joe's checked in for Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. City. Shea Gilgis Alexander. One shot. One shot. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. For New Orleans, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Hawkins, the pass to Jones. Ingram with the ball. 
course, the league has always been invested in the G League. A few years in now, with two-way contracts, it's been a success as well. There's no doubt about that, B.A. Here's why it's important. For stretches of the season, you can bring those G League players up, and they can get G real G opportunities G on an NBA roster and at NBA-level competition. But on the moments where there aren't those opportunities, they can go to the G League and get incredible experience in the system, understanding what the operations of the team are. It's great for both players and teams. And so it's New Orleans with it, following the bucket by the Thunder. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Williams on the wing from behind the arc. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Williams has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Outside Ingram. Pass to Jones. Back to Ingram. Shot clock at six. There's a screen by Marshall. Ingram, the pass to Marshall to halt the run. Sinks the trade. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Wallace misses. New Orleans has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Pass to Marshall. Now here's Jones. Fires the three. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. A nice shot by Gilgis Alexander. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. Stolen! And a fast break now for the Thunder. Here's Joe. Rebounded by New Orleans. Ingram's got his fourth rebound in this one. On the wing, Jones. Pass to Marshall, to the left wing. Here's Hawkins. No good. Tight defense there. Bothered that shot. The Thunder have gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Joe misses. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Marshall passes to Ingram. Back to Marshall. And he takes that one up and powers it through. An excellent job of reading the defense as Ingram's court vision continues to improve so will his playmaking. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Hey, yo. Right here. Hey. And it's good. Fought Jordan. through contact. Hit the shot Second. and will go to the line. With so many recent number one picks and MVP winners being foreign-born players, of course, the NBA truly feels like a global sport. It's wonderful, B.A., because when I think back historically, wouldn't NBA fans have loved the opportunity to have seen Arvidas Sabonis in his prime? He spent decades toiling over in the European leagues and was a dominant figure in the sport. But the idea that you can now get Luka Doncic or Mr. Wemben Yama at such an early age and watch them unfold their NBA careers, it is fabulous. Williamson. Holmgren with the block. You love that Holmgren likes to send it back. Use that wingspan to full effect. Back to Wiggins. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Now here's McCollum. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. McCollum's got 41. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Pass to Wiggins. To the middle. Here's Gilgis Alexander. An easy two on the layup. Gilgis Alexander's got 44. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Hawkins, the pass to McCollum. Over Gilgis Alexander. McCollum's shot is off. Oklahoma City has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Williams, a screen on McCollum. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The kick out to Wiggins. There's the three. 
The Pelicans pull it in. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. Oh, it's stolen by Gilgis Alexander for the finish. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It'll be on Zion Williamson. Well, there's a level of aggressiveness that you must contend with with Gilgis Alexander on the offensive end. You'll love to see him force the issue. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. When they get chances at the line, they make you pay. I mean, their free throws have helped maintain this lead. Lou Dort, he's checked in for Wiggins. Both good from the line that time. And a lot of NBA players and former players are getting into film production. How rewarding has that been, Greg? You know, B.A., storytelling is so gratifying and also so very important. Players do have a voice like never before, and these ventures are just another way of expressing that voice. The Thunder shooting 67% for the game. Just outstanding. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. McCullum defends. Pass to Giddy. Gilgis Alexander from outside. Rebounded by New Orleans. Valanciunas has got four rebounds now. Jones in the post. Giddy defends. Jones, the pass to Valanciunas. And stolen by Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander against McCullum. Gilgis Alexander, double team. Rebounded by Ingram. Ingram's got his fifth rebound in this one. McCullum into the lane. Count the basket. McCullum's got 43 points. And that's a savvy move from McCullum. A defender doesn't know what to do with moves like that. McCullum against Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Holmgren. The kick out to Williams. Just five on the clock. Oklahoma City's got to hurry. They got to get up a shot. Dort for three. Sends it home from three point land. You can see the work Lou Dort has put in to make himself a threat from three. That's a pretty looking shot right there. Outside Ingram. Back to McCullum. Pass to Ingram. Williamson looking around. They double team McCullum. And here's Ingram from the arc. And it's Giddy with a rebound. Giddy's got six rebounds here tonight. Now Gilgis Alexander. Well, Grant, we've seen some teams double up with superstar players at the same position in recent years. Sometimes it works. Yeah, you know, and other times it doesn't work. I mean, it forces a coach to be very creative. When you have multiple players who are used to being the guy, it can be hard to keep everyone happy. Now here's Ingram. Let's it fly from 18. And he comes up with a bucket. Ingram's got five points now this quarter. A tail of two halves. After a slow start, he's turning his offense around. Williams misses. And it's Williamson with the ball for the Pelicans. Now here's Ingram. Williamson inside. Holmgren's there. Great D that time from Holmgren. Here's Williams. Oh, what a finish in traffic! My goodness! And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Valanciunas can't get it to go. Oklahoma City's gone two of six so far in the fourth. Two minutes. Gilgis Alexander, double team. Outside Giddy. To the inside. Launches it. He gets it to go again. Nine for 13 so far. 
Now, this is going to help Josh Giddy's game. Boy, the confidence will rise if he can make these catch-and-shoot opportunities. McCollum finds Williamson. Valanchunas with a screen on Dort. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. Oh. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. You rack up all those Six frequent point flyer point. miles, Doris, Four. covering Four. games Four. all around the NBA. Second so do you have a favorite city? BA, I would start with, the it's been an honor to have covered games in all 30 yeah. NBA cities. Yeah. I think what I'm most curious about is expansion. Do we go back to Seattle? Is there a team eventually in Las Vegas? These are exciting cities perhaps on my horizon. Oklahoma City has gone three of seven from the perimeter during the fourth. Wiggins outside. Back to Hayward. The three. Oh, the thunder, another three. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Thunder. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And certainly a point of pride. They've now won 50 games this year. And they've now won themselves a 2-1 to -one advantage in this season series. We'll see if it's the same story when these two meet one last time. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Shea Gilgis Alexander. What a selfless effort tonight. He's done such a great job finding guys in their appropriate spots. Here's Jones. After the basket by Oklahoma City. For three, McCullum sinks it from distance. McCollum's got 46. Well, they needed this run way earlier. At some point, it's too little, too late. Yeah, but then again, this run came against a team that may have felt it had already won, and you get the sense it let its guard down. Williamson with it. Guarded now by Williams. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Back to Williamson. Outside Ingram. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. Shot's good by McCollum. And McCollum excels at everything on the court. And man, he is putting on a show. And so Oklahoma City takes this one. And by a big margin, a statement road victory. So impressive. Statement in DBA. It was in enemy territory. They controlled the game. They took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Shay, you were using those long arms to be disruptive on the defensive end. What's your focus at that end of the floor? Um, I'm just trying to be as active as possible. Um, and like you said, uh, getting my length involved, something I've been blessed with, and I just want to use it. That activity, that length was noticed. Congratulations. Allie, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance Player of the Game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander.